welcome back to your structure traders and YouTube for a market analysis for the London session. Today we'll be going over S&P, giving you guys some of the levels we'll be looking at for the London session and potentially into the US session. Uh, so again, if you guys do like the videos, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you are not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you guys subscribe with us. Any questions you guys got, feel free to pop them in here on YouTube. Again, if you guys do not watch our market recaps, go ahead and watch those videos as well as they tie right into the market analysis videos that we do and how we look to trade the market. Uh, but with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at it. So for S&P 500, still the same level 3831 uh, to about 3835 that's our area of resistance now we did break a little bit above that uh, but coming right back underneath that allowed us to push down even deeper into our supports support down below 380550 to about 380125 that's going to be our target areas coming down into that and maybe getting a nice double bottom of support right here for a push right back up now we got a bit of resistance 38 20 25 that could act as some decent area of resistance if we can't break above that so that's kind of like a mid-level uh, we'll leave that in the middle right now uh, supports down below is going to be right around these uh, 37 99 25s to about 37 96 25 and then below that 37 83 50 as the next area down below to about 37 79 so with that let's go ahead and take a look at the smaller chart see what it's going to look like trying to trade this so for the smaller range bar chart we see here uh, we do have some opportunities you can see a nice bit of a double top didn't get all the way to that mid level but stayed right up under here um, for a push down now we are coming into our first area of support where if we do bounce in this area we may get a nice triple bottom there and then a push right back up to the upside uh, if not look for the market to come down here down into these 3801s and then double bottom you could get a fade there uh, and then down below that there's this zone right here where you get that support and then a pop back to the upside from there Now for those who don't want to fade it's best to go with the short opportunities I do like to see if the market comes back up here for the short and then get a rejection down uh, If not there then coming all the way back up into this area of resistance and then getting a nice opportunity for a short down to the the uh, blue line and then down to our red uh, green zones down below so we'll see what happens in the London session again we could end up seeing the market come right into one of these zones here and then getting a nice double bottom and then pressing back up so we may end up looking for a fade off the zone of support here or off the zone of support down here we will see what we get as far as opportunities uh, for the London session and also opportunities for the US session as well. But that wraps it up for S&P 500. Again, if you guys do like the videos, make sure you guys smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe with us. You guys take care. Have a great night. And if you're going to trade, make sure you guys trade with discipline and patience. Have a great night.